Hello viewers, this is a tutorial on how to automate withdraw connection requests on LinkedIn using Socinator. If you wish to withdraw connection requests on certain LinkedIn accounts, then Socinator can help you out. Let's start with the Accounts Manager screen from where we can navigate to configure the accounts. To do that, right-click on your LinkedIn account and hit Go to Tools. It will take you to the Account Configuration screen. You can also see the available activities which can be automated on LinkedIn through Socinator. Let's click Withdraw Connection Request. This is very useful as it makes it faster and easier to withdraw connection requests on LinkedIn within a period of time while narrowing them down in the process. There are several configuration categories for withdraw connection request activity. Let's start with requested user sources. So you can specify the source of your connection requests. So the first one is by software or by Socinator. The second one is outside software. So connection requests you made yourself. Finally, we have custom users list. If you click it, this allows you to specify LinkedIn accounts. You may enter their profile URL here. So copy and paste them here. You may use this button to clear and it's gone. You may also use this button to import from CSV or text file. Select the right file and click open. When you're done, click the save button over here. Next, we have source filter. This allows us to specify how long the connection request has been made. So let's say requested before two days and one hour, for example. Next, we have job configuration. This allows us to choose the speed at which an account should withdraw connection requests. We have already created a few activity speed configurations which you can use, like slow with an average daily activities of 41, medium with 83, fast with 125, or super fast with 208. Super fast is not recommended for new or real accounts. If you want to define your own speed settings, click advanced settings. Delay between each operation is the number of seconds between each connection request is withdrawn. Delay between jobs is the number of minutes the software should pause after withdrawing the number of connection requests you set and number of connection requests to withdraw per job. Number of connection requests to withdraw per job will allow you to specify the number of connection requests you want to withdraw per job or per cycle. You may also specify the number of connection requests you want to withdraw per hour, per day, and per week. Click this box to increase each day with a specific number until it reaches another custom number of max connection requests to withdraw per day. You can also create a daily schedule under day of the week when to operate. This is very useful if you want to keep withdrawing connection requests even when you're asleep or busy doing other things. If you don't want to operate on, let's say, Monday, click the trash bin button under Monday and it's gone. You can add multiple time frames in one day. Simply click the day you want to configure, Monday for example. Provide the start and end time, let's say 12 a.m. to 1.59 a.m. and click add interval and it's added. Let's add another one on the same day. Let's say 2 a.m. to 11.59 p.m. Click add interval. So as you can see, we can have several schedules in one day. You may save these time settings by clicking Create Favorite. Let's call it LinkedIn Withdraw. Click Save. We can then open it by clicking Select Favorite Time and choosing LinkedIn Withdraw. The next tool is Other Configurations. Here we have the option to enable Auto Connection Request and specify the conditions involved. The first one is when reaching a specific number of connection withdraws. The second one is when the Withdraw Connection Request tool gets temporarily blocked. And the third one will allow you to start Connection Request tool based on the number of minutes you set. The last tool is Manage Blacklist and Whitelist Users. Blacklisted users are the LinkedIn accounts you do not want Socinator to interact with. Whitelisted users are the exact opposite. So if you want to skip whitelisted users, click this box. This can either be a private whitelist which belongs to a specific LinkedIn account or a group whitelist which is shared between all the accounts you add. After withdrawing connection requests, you may also choose to add them to a blacklist. 
This may either be a private blacklist, which belongs to a specific LinkedIn account, or a group blacklist, which is shared between all the accounts you add. When you're satisfied with all the configurations and are ready to start withdrawing connection requests on LinkedIn, let's scroll up and click Save. Success. After saving, let's click the status button to make it active. Now that it's active, let me show you another option in automating withdraw connection requests on LinkedIn using Socinator. This one allows us to create campaigns, which is perfect for multiple accounts. To start, let's go to the upper right corner of the app and click the social drop down button and select LinkedIn. This will take us to the accounts tab. Let's switch to the grow connection tab and select Withdraw Connection Request on the left side of the app. Here we can name our campaign, let's call it LinkedIn Withdraw Connection Request. Under Requested User Sources, let's select by Software or by Socinator. Under Source Filter, it's up to you. For Job Configuration, let's select Slow. For Other Configurations, it's up to you. Then let's choose to skip Whitelisted Users then add to blacklist. When you're ready, let's click the blue button, select account or accounts. In this part, you can select multiple LinkedIn accounts. Since you only have one account right now, let's go with that by checking the box and click save. After saving, let's click the red button, create campaign. If you want to proceed, click your account and the save button. This will automatically bring us to the Campaigns tab where you can see that we have successfully created our LinkedIn Withdraw Connection Request campaign. Click the Status button to pause the campaign and the Action button over here will allow us to edit, duplicate, or delete the campaign. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you learned a lot and thank you so much for watching.